Hey guys, it's me again and in today's episode we're going to make these weird vex structures. I don't know what to call them. I got the inspiration from a Houdini showreel and I don't know how they did it in Houdini but uh, I know they used a vex engine so I just started calling it vex basic, vex hack, vex man, vex v2 and that's just became its name for me. Uh, if you have a better name just uh, comment down below. But yeah, the project files for this uh, whole thing is uh, already been on my Patreon for like two weeks now. It just took a really long time to render. Uh, go check it out if you'd like. And without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So there might be tons of different ways you can do this effect. They might even be better. But the thing is, I'm not a math genius and my way requires the least amount of vector math. And it's easy. Okay, in a fresh scene of Blender, let's select everything and delete them because we don't need it. Let's uh, import what we need uh, is an FPX animation uh, from Mixamo and let's scale it up a little bit. Okay, so now that we have our animation, let's go to the geometry nodes and let's select our mesh and click on new geometry node. So the first thing that I'm going to do is distribute some points on the faces. For that, I'm going to use a distribute points on face node. And as you can see, these are not enough points to create, uh, you know, good looking geometry. Let's, uh, let me hide the armature. The problem is that I haven't applied the scale. For that, I'll press Ctrl A and all transforms. And there you go. Now we have 191,000 points in our uh, mesh. But we also don't need uh, that much uh, geometry. So what I'm going to do is uh, reduce the number of uh, points by decreasing density. For that, I'm going to plug the density into a group input, add a math node and change it to divide, divided by 100. There we go. Now we have 1.9 thousand points on our mesh. Okay, so the next thing that we need is for these points to be instanced by a line. And for that, I'm going to use a instance on point node. And what I'm going to instance is a mesh line. Let's change it to endpoints and let's reduce the count to two for now. You can change it later on, but let's uh, make it two right now. Okay, so right now if we zoom in, we can see that the mesh lines are all facing the same direction and they're just sort of suspending in 3D space. What we want them to do is to displace or contour around the mesh uh, that we are applying this effect on. For that, I'm going to use a set position node. Now what set position node will do is displace the two points in our mesh line to whatever uh, vector position we give it to. In the position input of our set position node, we need to add a vector value, which specifically needs to be a position vector of the points on the mesh, which is how we will displace the mesh line onto the mesh. For that, we need to use a transfer attribute node. What this will do is take the position vector from the points and transfer it to the mesh lines set position node. I'm going to change the source to the points that we just created and the attribute that we need to capture is a position attribute and in the source position we'll also plug in the position attribute. Now let's change this to vector oh, just plugged out and change this to nearest because it won't work uh, with a nearest face interpolated. And let's plug the attribute into position and we see nothing. Why? Oh, we need to realize these uh, instances first and there we go. If we increase the density from the geometry nodes input and we can see that uh, the mesh line is sort of contouring to the body and if we increase it a lot, you get some, some sort of design, I guess, or mesh which also looks cool but this is what this is not what we want so let's change it back to like five now the problem that we're facing right now is that the two points in our mesh line are displaced onto the points on the mesh but those points on the mesh are very close to each other we need to add some noise so we can uh, add some different uh, points on our mesh so that i'm going to give it a vector math node and add it before source position and I'm going to keep it to add and if I increase the value you can see there is some change in the mesh we are getting closer to what we want but doing it like this is just a hassle I'm going to select everything and change it to zero 
what i'm going to do is plug in a random value node and it's it has to be set to vector value because that's what uh, will be important to add vector and let's plug the minimum into the group input and let's plug uh, the minimum also into the maximum and let's add a vector math node in the minimum value node and let's change it to multiply and let's set the multiply value to negative one now whatever value i add into my geometry nodes input like if i set it to one i'll have a minimum value uh, in the random value as one negative one negative one negative one and the maximum value would be one 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 this is how we can add some noise to the position vector of the you know points in the mesh now if i increase the density uh, well we don't see a lot happening but uh, let's just increase the minimum maximum value as you can see if i go back into the timeline and play the animation we have our working model of uh, vex structure if you want your curves to last from the head to the toe you can increase the value in the z direction by a lot you'll see some longer you know curves let's uh, turn it back to 80 8 and i guess that's it about uh, the basic of this fact all you need to do next is change this mesh to curve and you can resample the curve if you want let's uh, let's leave it to 10 and you can change it to bezier by adding a set spline type so right now these curves are bent really sharp you could also add a set handle type and change it to smooth but uh, i don't really want that so the next thing that i'm going to do is curve to mesh and the profile curve i'm going to use a curve circle and i need to reduce the resolution to like 3 reduce the radius to like 0 0.1 and let's plug it in okay so that looks great and all you need to do is add a material sorry set material again again one important thing that you need to remember is the number of points your dispute points and faces is uh, generating because if it's a lot your blender will crash and if it's uh, too little you won't have a good enough effect so if you're having a lot of points on your mesh use a divide by 100 and you can significantly reduce the number of points and if you're having two less you can just change this to multiply i won't because blender will crash okay so that's it for this episode guys i hope you liked it uh, if you did maybe subscribe to the channel check out my patreon if you would like and thanks for watching until next time goodbye